Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In the past I've done several different videos on how to select photos based on your choice of a data validation drop-down. Today we're going to add another little modification to that so when you select your choice from a data validation drop-down it not only selects the picture but also the text for a text box that's set up next to that. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here is an example of the original file that I created and you can see in my drop-down box I have four choices here grapes, glasses, sun, and heart. As I change each one, the photo next to that changes. And I'll put a link to the various posts I've done on this general topic below. But what I want to accomplish here is this, so that when I change the different selection, it not only changes the image, but also changes the text that's in the text box next to the photo. So let's see how we can do that. So on this tab here called data, I have my list that I have the four names here, grapes, glass, sun, and heart, and the images that are associated with that. And what I've done is I've added a description next to each one that describes the image uh, along with the name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a VLOOKUP formula right here that as you choose the different options here it's going to populate cell E2 with that description. So what I'm going to do is just create a basic VLOOKUP here. So I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP and my lookup value is going to be my selection here and my range, my table array, is going to be this table or this array here. Again, I'll just lock that. My column index is going to be 3, and I want an exact match. So as I change this here to, say, grapes, notice it has these are delicious Cabernet grapes on the vine. As I change this to glasses, it changes it to what I have here for glasses. Here are two wine glasses filled with rosé. So next, I'm going to insert a text box here. So I'll go to insert, go over to text, text box, and we'll draw one right here next to the image. And while I have that here, I'm going to go up to my formula bar and type equals, and I'll select my VLOOKUP formula, or the results of that, which are in cell E2 here. And I'll hit enter, and notice it populated that. So as I go through here and change it, it then changes the text that's associated with the image that we have based on the table array that we have here for our VLOOKUP. Now all I need to do is format this to make it look a little nicer. So I'm just going to double click in here and do a control A to select my text and I can increase the size. Maybe I'll center it both width and height, bold it, maybe do a different style there, and Maybe I'll also go to my shape format, and in my shape fill, I'll choose uh, maybe something like that. So now again, as I change the name here, or change my selection in cell C2, it automatically changes the text that I have. And that's how easy it is to do in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Excelling!